Welcome back to Legend of the Oracle of Ages. This is chapter 35. We are getting very close to finishing this up. So off screen, I went and praised all of my rings that I had sitting around. I had a, quite a few. Um, currently, I am now wearing the Red Holy Ring, which takes no damage from small rocks, like, you know, Oct rocks shooting stuff at you. I figured that out of all the ones I had, that seemed the most beneficial. Alright, so also, while off screen, I went around and grinded up some rupees by just digging holes. Lots and lots of holes. So now I have 579 rupees. So what we're going to do is stand right here and play the harp. Now you can get this harp piece anytime you get the Warp to the Present song. It doesn't have to be this one. You go inside the other door in the shop. You can come down here. He sells you three different things. A bigger ring box, which lets you hold two rings instead of just one. That way you can wear two at a time. It sells you gasha seeds and a heart piece. This is what we want. Piece of heart, 500 rupees. Okie dokie. You got a piece of heart. Yay. Collect four in all to get an extra heart container. Check them on the item screen. So right now we're only missing three pieces of heart. One of them we haven't encountered yet. One of them is from the Gasha Seeds. And the other one is from Maple. So if you're ever wondering where the other one is. Maple and the Gasha Seeds are completely luck based. So don't hold your breath that I might get those by the end of the game. But the second, the, the third to last one, the, the last one basically, we can get it in just a little bit. So now we found out that we got a Toke's eyeball that was found on Toke Island. So that's where we gotta head to next. And I should have just did it from, eh, oh well. We could swim there. Let's just swim there, right? It's not that far of a swim. Look, our raft is still here. Interesting. But we made it back to Tokyo Island. And look! It's missing an eyeball. We couldn't get here before because we couldn't swim in the deep water, but... I love how the eyes don't move. Show your courage, wisdom, and power. The road to the past shall then open. This is like a little trial dungeon. We're just gonna shoot all of these because it's more fun to shoot the Gibdos naked. Oops. No. You guys just walk into it, please? That'd be great. There's one. Three! Alright, there it's part of the test. I believe that's the power. This is the wisdom, I believe. Oh, you guys. Okay. We can get rid of them very easily with... That's out of the way. Bombs. Oh, I need my sword. Oops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Took way too much damage for that. Way too much damage. And this is courage. Yeah, you need courage for this one. Or a cane of Samaria. Oh, I missed the last one. Come here, you little sucker. Where are you? Oh, I got that one. Alright, let's clean that up a little bit. Let's see here. Nope, not that way. Not that way. 
go in this way. Nope, not that way! Alright, let's see here. Maybe this way? Alright. And this is why we have the cancel area. That was a leap of faith if I ever saw one. Yeah, that was definitely the courage section. <laughs> oh boy. No, I have that in the wrong spot. Sword, please. Alright, where are we? I can push... no? Um, okay. Well, it said it leads to the past. Let's try playing the harp and see what happens. No, I screwed that up. You were sent back by a strange force. Okay. Nope, it's not based on where you land. Um... Did I push the wrong one? Oh, yeah, I pushed the wrong one. Okay. You hear that? I think we found something new. Alright, let's see here. Oh, finals. That's an enemy we haven't seen yet. Alright. We got some... are old throwbacks to the original Zelda game. Thankfully, the level 2 sword makes good quick work of them, but hopefully I don't get hit too much. Right now, we can't do anything with these. Just remember them for later. I do like this music, though. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they can shoot through walls. We can't. Well, I think we can, actually, if we have sword beams. I think sword beams can shoot through walls. Nobody wants to drop a fairy? No? 
Oh god. These guys take so many hits. They hurt so much too. Level 8, the Ancient Tomb. I have no idea about this dungeon. I've done it maybe twice. So, let's see if we can figure it out. Oh, there's a fairy. Let's see what else here we got. Another fairy. They're really stalking us up here. Oh boy. Need some ember seeds, it looks like. Do I have to kill the ghosts? No? Duh. That's weird. Open your ears to the sound of a sword against the wall. So this is teaching us, the, um, finally teaching us the trick of... Of if you listen carefully enough, the sword makes a different sound against a bombable wall. Which I believe is... Not that one. Nope. That'd be wrong, sorry. Okay. Because it's supposed to make a sound, a different sound when you have a bombable wall. I got enough bombs to waste, let's find out. out of the way. That was dumb. Oh. Stay away from me. Let's just go a little further before we call this an episode. that way. Oh, there's a key. I think we use a lot of bombs in this level. Oh, it's this level. Okay. We'll solve this one puzzle, then we'll probably call it quits. That there. Um. Seed shooter for this. 
Kane of Samaria here, and Link here. Alright, so, I'm going to leave you guys here so we can delve into the actual dungeon after this. To be continued.